Hello and welcome my name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video I am going to show you how to download and install drivers for your AMD chipsets Raiden and uh, Ryzen as well. So Raiden uh, what uh, graphic cards be it integrated or, se or standalone simply go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to amd.com slash support and once you are here you have many options to detect your graphics card uh, and download the driver for it so the first one is go ahead and download the auto detector software so go ahead and download it it's going to take some time recently uh, AMD has updated their driver drivers for legacy CPUs as well so you definitely want to go ahead and run it it's kind of good thing so once it's downloaded you can see I just ran it and then uh, sorry downloaded it now I can go ahead and double click to run it to install it and run it so what it's going to do it's going to do very simple thing it's going to check the chipset and where is it let me go ahead and make sure I've got it right so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it on the Raiden soft uh, where and this is going to be new I have to uninstall it so go ahead and click install and this is going to detect your operating system and install the right drivers for your system for your chipset so initially I did it I think a year back and there was nothing found for this system this system and I ran it today it installed many softwares for bus and all that so it's hopefully going to do a lot of things here so you can see the interface has also been modified I think checking a PC oops something went wrong so what happened I already have installed it okay software in installed detected if you, uh, AMD graphics hardware in your system configuration that is not supported with this software installation this is possible guys okay so if you have installed any AMD software go ahead and uninstall, uninstall that previously installed AMD packages software must be uh, uninstalled to run this auto detector so that's the first way it did initially on my system you can see it here uh, go to this PC and go to AMD folder and you can see it downloaded all of these so this I don't need this one so I'm going to delete it is it still running no it's not running it was just asking for permission so it ran this bus driver chipset installer uh, driver installer and you can see this is auto detect software that I installed just 20 minutes ago and this is AMD catalyst so that's the first way and the second way this page automatically detects your system and it says get driver and support for your ATI Raiden 3000 this is a very old system right so they are still supporting it which is good so go ahead and click this page and on here depending on your operating system they have support for Linux as well so I am assuming that you have Windows 7 or 8 go ahead and check your system type you can check your system type by pressing Windows and pause break button on your system, uh, keyboard Windows and pause break and you can see this is 64 bit system type so I'll go ahead and download the 64 bit for Windows 8 and you can see this is the latest and this is the LTS this is all to also LTS catalyst uh, you can go ahead and download this is 13.1 and this is 
this is legacy vista for legacy vista so <laughs> this is not what are you looking for if your system is not vista so that's the second way to download it automatically detects your graphics card be it integrated or standalone the second one is search for your product you can go ahead and look for your model number here so let's say I have to yeah AMD Ryden 3000 yeah here you can see so you can go ahead and select this one and then submit this is the third way right and you will be landing on the same page so here you can go ahead and yeah download the same package by clicking this button the last option you have which is more broad you have to select graphics chipset right so in this case it's going to be graphics you can also select processor ryzen and these are supported processor embedded ones uh no i don't have those processors with uh graphics these are few processors that you have that come with inbuilt graphics professional graphics you can see so i have simple graphics card now I can go ahead and select one so I will get into this HD Raiden Raiden HD you can have a look on others by just going down you also have legacy graphics so if you select this one this is 9000 8000 whatever after 9 so I'll go to HD and then I'll look for 3000 so you can see this is 5000 4000 and this is 2000 you can see and this is 4000 uh, 3000 HD not mobility simple ATI right and now I have to select the right one from here I think it, it went up maybe it's at the bottom somewhere 3000 I don't have here so select hmm however for 3000 they have the same download right let me see no okay so I don't know which one I have so this is what I know this is already selected I also got this information from my motherboard that this is the integrated chip this motherboard has so I'll go ahead and download from here otherwise you can navigate to the exact graphics driver with this navigator and filter and once you have selected let's say this one is what I have to you can simply go ahead and submit it and let's see what we get here so same thing you can see here same page and it's the same thing right yeah this was also updated in April so it's the same thing uh, there might be some minor changes so once you get it you simply go ahead and run it so it's going to open legacy vista exe however let me see so initially i did this installation latest beta driver and this time i'm doing this lts which is catalyst software suite 64 bit so let's see what are the options go ahead and say yes and hmm support so that's a 13.1 legacy 
you definitely I think lots of people are looking for 13.1 because that's what the previous release was and maybe that's what their system was shipped with open MSI let's see so this this was released in 2013 I guess let's see 2013 almost eight year old now okay so this is going to be catalyst installer manager package installer manager I guess yeah and here you have to select something no you don't have to oh yeah here we go so express same thing right accept it and it's going to install analyze your system and then install few drivers I think it's not going to make any change on Microsoft Windows 10 however it may make change if your system is Windows 7 or 8 or Vista and I think lots of people have these operating systems okay here we go so you, you can play these games on this FX series AMD FX series these are the Tom Raider. Voila. So it's been installed. If you go ahead and view the log, it's going to launch the browser and you can see the message success. Final final status success. Name graphics. This is ATI Ryzen 3000. AMD display driver failed because it's already installed you won't get the same error message on your system alright guys so error message driver installed the specified driver was not installed for mesh matching devices okay perfectly fine so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below